Well, if you haven't been divorced, you don't know and understand what it's like. It's like a living death. It's not the ideal circumstance in which to do the best thing. And uh, the self-righteous may condemn at such time what you did, how you are, just to make your misery a bit worse, you know. Not just rejected by your beloved, but your fellowship as well. It's a hard time. It's a great blessing. I say this in faith, but also in experience. Three times experience. I think it's sealed in me now. The difficulties are the great blessing of God. And I will thank him for them. When I'm in them up to my neck in the slough of despond, I will say thank you, God. For my desire is to trust you with all my heart. Dearest friend, thank you that I may do this. And I rise incredibly quickly out of the mire. And I'm established as I was not before. For now, God is my beloved, my partner, my eternal friend. More faithful to me than ever I could be to him. But I'm not discouraged. Because with God with us, we can do all things. And so his love strengthens me, gives me life. Not just life temporal, represented by temporal love. but life eternal. The full awareness of this wonderful presence ever with us in our heart. So we are blessed by these traumas here in the world of uncertainty. And we are given trust, faith, hope by such incredible blessings as the Jesus story or the Bhagavad Gita or scripture of any wonderful religion by definition that comes to rescue us into the loveliness and beauty of life eternal, the purity and goodness and wonderfulness of God's personhood. Our membership in the host of heaven, God's eternal family forever and ever. Amen.